Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2018 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we're here at Unique, and we have uh, Ryan Kephart, and he's going to go over the brand new redesigned Typhoon H Plus. Redesign is just an understatement, I think. <laughs> this, uh, this drone has been completely overhauled. We went with the same style of airframe as last year. Um, the Typhoon H had been proven design as far as its wind resistance as well as its durability. So we went with that same kind of concept. However, there's a lot has changed on this, this platform. First off, we've increased the size just a little bit and it actually beefed up the motors. Okay. We can handle 30 mile per hour winds now. Oh wow. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, on top of that, the motors have been changed to use FOC flight control, so they're actually 40% quieter than let the previous models. Okay. We've also changed the pitch of the, the, the rotors, and we're able to fly longer as well as faster. So we're getting about 28 to 30 minute flight times on this platform now. Okay, and I noticed the camera's a lot bigger there. Completely different camera. This is our new C23 camera. It's a one inch sensor that is able to do 20 megapixel stills as well as 4K video at 60 frames per second. We're getting read write speeds about 100 megabits per second. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, charging time on this? Charging time, so there's a couple different options. We include a charger with every one of our models and that takes about an hour to two hours depending on how dead it is. Um, but we do have a new charger that is being released which is our EV Peak charger. Okay. And that's a dual port charger and it'll do two batteries in about an hour's time. Okay, and this still comes with the same uh, controller as last year's? The controller's actually been vamped up as well, so okay. the ST16 that you guys are kind of familiar with, we have now taken that to the next level called the ST16S. And what we have done there is we've increased the brightness of the screen okay. by quite a bit. We've also made the touch sensitivity a lot more accurate. Okay. On top of that, we have USB ports now, so you can charge your cell phones. So you're using mobile data out on the field. On the field. You can now charge your phone right there. It's also got a swappable battery pack too, so oh, wow. as your transmitter dies, you can swap it as easily as you swap the batteries here in the Typhoon H+. Plus. Okay, and will there be uh, two models, I guess, one with and without the sensor? Right, so just like before, we have the Intel RealSense, and uh, it's, this is like the version two, we've actually increased the um, the precision that the optical flow camera could do, okay. and so now indoor flight becomes a lot more stable. Um, but yeah, it starts at base price at fourteen ninety nine, okay. and the Real Sense model at seventeen ninety nine. Okay. And these both should be available somewhere around June to July. Great, thanks, Ryan. You're very welcome.